right now I'm recording this at the beginning of the year. And of course, the whole planet is in a state of dreaming about what this year could be, uh, trying to get or letting this sort of societal calendar of January, you know, motivate us to create new habits, you know, set goals and all that stuff. And I think it's fine to have this kind of external, I call this external motivation because it's societal motivation. It's based on the calendar. It's like January or the start of a quarter or the start of a month or the start of, or some other holiday or, you know, period that's known in the culture that kind of gives you some extra boost because it's in the zeitgeist um, or just you talk to others. So that, that kind of external motivation um, is, is, is there several times a year, probably for you. And I think about joyful productivity and I, I really believe that a core aspect of it is to learn how to generate internal motivation. And the more you figure that out for yourself, because that's different for each of us, how we generate internal motivation that keeps us going, despite the absence of external motivation. Like, what if it's, you know, end of February? <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> it's not the start of a quarter. <laughs> that's April, right? It's not the start of the year. It's end of February or end of any even month, right? <laughs> or, you know. Like, what are you going to do? You, you, you just, you, you ran out of external motivation. What, what, what now, right? And so I, I'm going to say, here is the most useful thing for external motivation. Use our external motivation, which I, I benefit from it too. I, I enjoy it too. Use external motivation to commit, to design and commit once again, to how you generate internal motivation. So I, I welcome you to comment below if you want to share how you generate internal motivation. So I'll share what that means for me. Is I use the start of a year and I go, yes, I want better habits this year, right? All of us, all of us do, or better habits this quarter, this month, this week, today. You know. But the, the habit I'm choosing, I say design and, and, and then recommit. So design would be like, how can I design a better way for me to show up consistently? That's, that's what I need to ask myself. For me, because I, I've worked with Joyful Productivity so many years, I have a pretty stable system at this point, right? I, I could... If there was a PhD in joyful productivity, I probably would qualify for it because I've been working with it for over a decade, very consistently and very in detail. But a lot of you watching this are just learning about this and you haven't had a lot of experience working on whether it's productivity, normal product or joyful productivity. And so what does it mean for you to design uh, for example, consistency of showing up. And of course, consistency of showing up depends on what you're talking about. Are we talking about creating content? Are we talking about, you know, announcing our services and programs so people can know that we actually sell something and we don't just create content for a living. We actually sell a service. Is it showing up to, you know, organize your, all the to-dos, you know, and information you're getting in a given day? So the design part, like, like using the motivation that we have to say, all right, I'm motivated now. And what do I do with my motivation? Design my system. What works for me at this time? And, and remember, uh, I should mention this. I talk about this all the time. Those of you who are in Joyful Productivity program know this. Stamina. Stamina is, must be part of our design. Understanding that, okay, if I currently do not follow a calendar, for example, and then I'm going to design a calendar where it's like, all right, every, you know, every day I have eight hours of work and, and it's all filled out perfectly. <laughs> that doesn't respect your stamina, right? Stamina means if I don't follow a calendar at this time, maybe I shouldn't be planning eight hours of calendar following a day. Maybe I should plan one hour 
of calendar following a day. That's much more respectful of my current stamina. And once I get stable with that one hour of calendar following a day, let's go go to two hours or three hours, right? So using external motivation to design a, a respectful, a stamina respecting way of showing up consistently, whatever that means for you, in whatever area of life that means, it might even be relationship. It might be for your health, but to design the stamina respecting system or process that you're going to commit to. And then again, using that, that extra motivation to say, no, I'm committing now to, to, to following the, the, this routine. I'm going to bring that word in now because so many of you don't like that word because routine's boring or you think, you think it's boring. How do I, George, how do I, you know, I hear this all, how do I stay consistent? It's boring. It's hard, of course. But I, I hope you will find, using the external motivation at this time, right? You'll find a more friendly relationship to routine. And I'm going to suggest this. My routines are not boring, even though it looks, if you were standing next to me all day, you was like, you do the same thing every day, George, pretty much. You wake up between six and seven, you do this, you do that, you take a nap, you start work, you always start with your morning review, you always do this. It looks, it looks boring, your life. But I said, no, it's because you don't see my inside, my thought life, my heart, my spirit. So what I do to make routine interesting, forever interesting, never boring, is every well, I do my energy reboot is what my energy reboot. And you can look this up on, on Google, energy reboot. They'll, you know, you'll, you'll find uh, my videos about it. My energy reboot reminds me every 10 to 20 minutes during my work day. I, I don't do energy reboot like when I'm relaxing at night or with friends or family, but I don't. But during my work day, I practice energy reboot every 10 to 20 minutes, sometimes every five minutes. Sometimes I need it every five minutes. It only takes 20 seconds. Anyway, you know, look, look up energy reboot and you'll find my videos about it. It only takes me 20 seconds each time. But my energy reboot allows me to remind me to bring something more meaningful to this moment. Even if I'm doing the most boring of tasks, I'm doing bookkeeping or some of you find bookkeeping fascinating, or I'm doing some solving some technology problem, challenge my business, or I'm doing organizing something or whatever admin work might seem boring. Nothing, nothing ever needs to be boring. If we are willing to pause for a moment and bring some deeper value into this moment, this admin task that's boring, can I bring some play into it? Sure, of course. Anything can be played with. Can I bring some love into this? This admin task is connected to serving others in, in this kind of deep way. Wow, that connection. If I make that connection, I can bring love to it. Can I bring gratitude to the fact that I even can do this admin task? I've been, I mean, not only do I have a business that, where this admin task is there, but I even have eyes to be able to see the screen. Some people don't have, can't see the screen, right? I mean, I'm hands type. I mean, we can bring some deeper value or virtue into every moment. And therefore life never has to be boring, no matter how routinized your life is. That's what I, that's how I've been able to stay consistent all these years. Life's never boring for me because I pause regularly to say, what, what can I bring now? That's delicious. That's, profound, that's inspiring to this boringest of tasks, to this most frustrating of tech challenges or whatever it may be. Nothing has to be negative if we are willing to practice shifting that to something more meaningful. So I hope this is helpful. Use, in summary, let's use external motivation in parts of our year, which exists in society, or whenever you have external motivation, try to use it to design or revisit your design of your system for showing up consistently, your, your system for generating internal motivation, and then to recommit to that system. And to remember that routine never has to be born. Because to, to actually build something great, you need a lot of routine. Have you noticed? To build something great and sustainable, consistent, you need so much routine, you can't even believe it. So much routine, year after year. So how, how will you not bore yourself to death? 
just like any relationship, how we not bore yourself. You always got to bring something deeper to it, kind of bring something more alive, which you can. So I hope this is motivating for you to go and design and then recommit to yours, your way of generating internal motivation. And feel free to comment below on what that means for you.